LEGO everybody and welcome to a very special LEGO review. Today we are going to be looking at the Big Bang Theory LEGO set. This is set number 21302. The, su the suggested ages for this set is 12 and up and this set contains 484 pieces and it retails for $70. Now this is a very special and cool set from the LEGO Ideas line. So I'm going to show you all the minifigures and all the details inside this set right now. All right, so with this set, we get all of the seven main characters of the show. And as you can see on the screen, it makes for a lot of minifigures. We got a total of seven plus the dog here. Um, so let's start off with Penny right here. So here is Penny, the beautiful Penny, the next door neighbor right there. Uh, so she's got the blonde hair um, right here. It hangs pretty long. And here is the other side of her face. Uh, they all have pretty much double-sided faces, um, represents them well. So here's her torso. She's got a pink vest on, as you can see. So all these characters are just perfectly represented. They got the perfect costumes on and everything from the show. Here's Leonard, and he's wearing his classic beige jacket with the hood. So we see that a lot. So here is his face. He's got the glasses, obviously, with brown hair. And he's got a double-sided face. And he's got also blue pants, just like Penny. Next, we have Sheldon. The very special Sheldon. It is probably one of the most popular characters of the show right here. So as you can see, he's got uh, his classic flash shirt right there and it's pretty cool how they printed on a sort of t-shirt with a long shirt under it on the arms there very nicely done and he's got brown hair and here is his other sided face so his very excited uh, face which we see sometimes not very often though uh, with in the show and here are his beige pants right there next we have Sheldon's girlfriend Amy right here so as you can see she's got her long hair and her glasses and here is the other side of her face and here's the front of her torso she's got her sort of knitted sweater that she often wears and here's the back and here are her legs so it's kind of got two colors and next we have the very <laughs> Particular Bernadette with a uh, sort of almost two personalities sometimes gets very mad, but she's sometimes very very uh, a calm little girl <laughs> If you seen the show you will know that she can get pretty mad sometimes and here is uh, Her face right there and her other side so as you can see this is when she's mad and she's got the blonde hair Here's the back of her uh, Well her back <laughs> and here is the front. She's got her little sweater on with their necklace um, I really am impressed by how Lego managed to get the the sort of all the minifigures they got them right on uh, according to what they often wear in the show because I mean they change from episode to episode but often the same ones come back here is Howard right here uh, he's got a red his red shirt on here is the back and his face right here he's got the sort of sideburns printed on there with his brown hair and here is the other side of his face well his second face and so yeah here's the shirt and very nicely done here we, they've printed on his waist a video game belt buckle uh, if you've seen the show you know that Howard always wears these special belt buckles almost every single day he wears a different one uh, so I think that's pretty cool that they got that printed on there really represents him well with gray pants and finally here is Raj with his dog Cinnamon uh, and at first I was not expect I didn't realize that the set came with Cinnamon so I think that is a very cool ad there his little dog Cinnamon who in a couple episodes have given some of the characters some trouble uh, but yeah very nice accessory that they added in the set and here is Ra Raj <laughs> wearing his classic sweater right there and his purple jacket so very cool and here's his face and his black hair 
And here's his other sort of nervous face. Let's say when he can't talk to women. And his beige pants right here. So those are all the seven minifigures. That is a lot in the set. And I think it's great that LEGO was able to include all the main characters like this in the show. So let's move on to the apartment. All right, now here is Leonard and Sheldon's apartment. And so there is so much detail in this apartment. I was so impressed when I was building this set. The amount of work and attention to detail Lego put in that stayed true to it, it just, it amazes me. There is so much here uh, to show. Um, so I'll start off with uh, this right here. Right here we've got a writing board, which we often see uh, in the in the apartment and there's got this writing on here now i remember this from an episode it was about sort of sheldon learning feelings or social interactions as you can see here i don't remember exactly where it's from uh but that's pr that's a nice reference right there and we've got markers as you can see right here and you also get two extra ones uh, as along with these ones right here so that's very nice so this is a nice detail in the apartment right here and right here, we also get the sort of extra chair, as you can see. Um, what I did, you get a lot of extra pieces with this set. Um, I added a, a little one-by-one -one piece right here to be able to place the chair sort of at an angle here beside Leonard's couch because uh, when I watch the show often, the way they're set up is Leonard will sit here and you'll have Penny sitting in the extra chair here. So I just found that it kind of looked better that way. Uh, but really, you can do you can put this chair wherever you want, really. But that's just how I decided to do it. So very nice add there. As you can see right here, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, we got Chinese takeout, which they very often uh, eat, and uh, it's very very cool that they added that. As you can see, the Chinese signs are printed right there, and we have fork utensils right here. And uh, something very cool is Lego included with the set. You get an entire bag of kitchen accessories. So you got pans and pots in here, which I, I, I could not believe, I couldn't understand at first why we got these, but this is really cool. A full set of like minifigure kitchen accessories, bowls and everything. Very, very cool. So that might interest a lot of people. Um, and we got a little Lego newspaper right there, as you can see. Uh, in the middle right here, as you can see, we got a, the beautiful uh, carpet design right here, which is very cool. Uh, and like I said right here, we got Leonard's couch and the big couch where Sheldon's spot obviously is right here and nobody touches that. Um, we got right here a telescope, uh, which we also see sometimes, and the bookshelves on the, there are two bookshelves and it's incredible how packed full they are uh, as you can see there are books stacked in there and the technique that Lego uses to do it is very interesting you'll find that out when you build the set and we got a light right there and a painting and so many different objects right there on the top of the bookshelf we we've got some glows we got a rocket ship a, a figure like a figurine uh, we got green lanterns lantern which we see a lot in the episodes Right here is the sort of closet door right here, which I think is very nice that they added. And you got uh, a sticker right here. In this set, there are only two stickers. All the rest you see is printed on, which is great. The only two stickers is this one right here and the one on the wall right here. Um, and this represents a poster of uh, those little robot battles, uh, the little the toy that uh, was really popular in the 80s, that's what you see in the show, but they added minifigure heads in the crowd, which is very cool. And right here we got a little, oh, I don't remember what this scientific ball, uh, I don't remember the name, sorry, but uh, some of you may know what it's called. Um, and here is a little sort of whiteboard again with some writing on it for some scientific terms. As you can see, that's pretty complicated right there and some complicated calculations. And right here we've got the DNA uh, as a sort of a circle, a thread. I don't remember the exact name, but uh, yeah, that is really cool. They have a huge stand like this in the apartment. And I just think that it was really well done. Lego represented it well. And here we've got an old radio on the bookshelf and a little sort of uh, alarm light and another 
uh, sort of action figure right here. So I think that's pretty cool that they added these little figures like the red one over there too. And we've got the little desk area right here as you can see. And this is really cool. This blew my mind how they built this lamp out of a pistol as you can see right there. Uh, they, they use a pistol to build the uh, lamp. And if we look in uh, overhead as you can see there is a keyboard in there. Uh, along with the computer screen so that is very well done too and if you can see there is the window right beside the desk there with the brick wall and it's got curtains on each side so very nicely detailed uh, really a lot of work put in and if we come along to the side where this would be the hallway that leads to the bathroom and the bedrooms uh, we got a light right here and we got, uh, I think this is a, a special light switch uh, that we sometimes see in the show. And I'll go ahead and show you the exterior of, uh, well, the other sides, what it looks like of the apartment. So uh, basically here is the window beside the desk. And here is the back wall with um, the door, the closet door right here. And so yeah, so as you can see, this is just packed full of details. We've got the drawers here, uh, and the little table with the lamp. Would have been cool if they would have added maybe a one by one piece with a Rubik's Cube detail on it. Because you always have a Kleenex box right here with it. But uh, there's already just so much in the set. Uh, it's really amazing how LEGO just was able to include so many uh, intricate details. Uh, that we see all the time in the episodes in the apartment and everything and some are unique to certain episodes and it's just they really did a great job in capturing the whole feel of the show when I have this set it really feels like I am holding uh, Leonard and Sheldon's apartment in my hands along with the minifigures they just are so well detailed um, so yeah great job great looking apartment you can see for yourself uh, just how well done it is and all the details in the apartment. All right, so here is the box for the set. And as you can see, uh, you got the whole uh, apartment with all the characters sitting there eating their Chinese takeout. Uh, we got the Big Bang Theory logo right there. And we've got a bunch of subtle details on the detail, like a little minifigure uh, written right there in the white space as you can see uh, a lot of really nice detail to the box really lego has put uh well basically with all the idea or kuzo boxes uh lego just makes them really good quality so here is the top right there and the bottom right here and we have the big bang theory written there and if we take a look at the back of the box, uh, we have a little different uh, snippets of what the interior looks like, uh, some featured details. And we have all the minifigures right here with their names, so very nicely done there. And a little to introduce what LEGO Ideas is right here. And so if we open up the box, as you can see, it has a flap. It opens up right here, so very different from a usual Lego box. And inside right here, you got the little <laughs> sort of space detail in it. And here's the instruction manual, also much better quality than what you usually get because it's a special set, so very nicely done. And inside, uh, here's a glimpse at the instructions, and there's an introduction to the Big Bang Theory, uh, what the show is, and... Uh, some introduction to the characters right here so lots of nice work done and there, and the the description of the characters right here uh, I was really impressed by how sort of deeply detailed it was there's some things that were really really specific uh, to the characters so very nice introduction right there um, and so as you can see when you look at the characters there they're just really nicely represented uh, in Lego they're just they stay true to who they are so that is the instruction manual and the box for the set. All right, so this is just a absolutely great set. Lego did a fantastic job on this set. First of all, the fact that you get all the seven main characters is just 
crazy. Like, the fact that Lego really represented them so well and, like, included all the minifigures, all the essential characters from the show in, I just think that is great. And just all the detail, uh, just all the key elements that just make the apartment and the show what it is, they just put so much effort in it. And really, this is probably one of the best sets uh, that have been released in 2015 and probably one of my all-time favorite sets, to be honest. Uh, I'm a big fan of the show and uh, just the fact that LEGO made this set makes me super excited because I would, I would never have thought that they would make this set. I actually supported the original Kuzo idea online at the time when it was out. Uh, and But to me, I didn't think they would do it because it's not really an actual kid's show. But this is obviously a set really more for A-Falls or T-Falls who are actual fans of the show. Uh, there's not much playability to it. This is really more to have the apartment and the characters uh, for the fans of the show. Um, and even if you're not a fan of the show, there's just so many unique uh, Lego parts and, and pieces and details in here. Uh, and it's certainly worth the $70 for this set. Uh, just a great price point too for the all the minifigures and all the pieces you get. Really, I don't think, I think this set, I would have to say this is a perfect set. Honestly, I really would give this a 10 out of 10. There is nothing uh, that this set is missing, to be honest. It's just perfect. Everything from the price point to the detail to the minifigures, it's just a great set. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I recommend, obviously, that you get this set, especially if you're a fan of the show. It's a must-have. Uh, it's a, a great-looking set, really. So again, let me know in the comments if you have the set, what you think of it. Let me know your opinion on this set. And again, I make bunch a lot of LEGO videos from reviews to mocks to stop motions. Uh, so... If you want to, you can go check out my channel and explore more of CD's Brick Mix. So until next time, thank you all for watching. And remember, it all started with the Big Bang. Mm -hmm.